Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, plus seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night. I better take this pool wristband off that I had on all weekend. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 100, NASDAQ is off 4, SPs down 4. Gold, gold contract down 5 all 6, 90 cents, trading at 19.23 an ounce. We have silver up 23 cents, $23.34 an ounce. Light sweet crude, look at that, up 220. $71.99 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, down 18 ticks, trading 111.11. 11. 30 year full point plus 13 ticks at 125.07 and King Dollar. King dollar up 326 ticks, trading 103, 365. The euro is at 108. The yen is at 144. And the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first, because when I had just left, just coming back here, what you had... And I, I saw those numbers come out from the Federal Reserve. Yeah, there you go. Hey, so you can check this out, folks. This is pretty cool, actually. So when the Federal Reserve was coming out, right, what, what we had is this. You know, the, the S&P, you know, right off the bat this morning, pops all the way up to the price point of 44.92. And then when we came down at that uh, 1230 level, that's a high volume low. So when the Fed came out, the Fed came out and, you know, we were trading at about the 44.88 and we came down and you came down. You had some volume there, man. You know, you get some, you get some volume down at these lows. Um, yeah, you're probably going to have a failure. We're probably going to be right back down at those lows into the close, which would be the 4.475. Not that much. You, you can see the spread in price is a lot less than we've been used to lately, you know, because the... Uh, volatility is basically calming down, meaning that, yeah, you can go 10 points up and down in a second, but we, before we were doing like 20, 30 points in a second. And the X, and the, X, the hundreds uh, did the same thing. Oh, now, here you go, man. This is a good one. Okay, there we go. So you had the first one, that the downdraft there. Was, that was 9,800 9, contracts. Well, now we have a high volume low in the NASDAQ. Remember when that happened last week? And the div divergence was there. The NASDAQ actually won out, and it took the S&P with it. So that's telling me that this, uh, the low of today uh, does want to get tested in the next uh, half hour. Oh, well, like before we close. That's what it looks like. Gold. Gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract traded to 1942. You get 236,000 contracts. Now, that, it didn't hold price, but that's good contract volume. I like that. That's, that's a good scene, man. Yeah, you can see that we're going to be right back topside. And that's telling me that what we're going to see is that the dollar, the dollar's been moving around out here today. The dollar is up 328 ticks. And you can see on, I believe it was, let's see, Friday. Yeah, Friday, it gave it up in spades. It made it to 103, 543, and then just gave it up in spades like nothing. Um, and I suspect the exact same thing is going to happen probably this week. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Let's go take a look at the 10-year note out here. What do we have inside this 10-year note? Okay, so this is breaking down. 1.4 million. Let's see what we're into here. Okay, so you get a contraction of volume. You're breaking 2.1 million, but you don't have that. This price is not holding. So the very low is 110.27. We've hit 111.10. And we get into the 30 year. Thirty year. 347,000 contracts. Broke to 125.08. You went to 125.09. You're laying. You're laying at 125.08. Yeah, this this can go lower. That's the bottom line. 
Some of the higher volume equities that we have over there, let's take a look at it. This, this market bottom line refuses to back down, I can tell you that. Um, you get Tesla up a buck and a half. We have uh, Carnival up to 38 cents. Well, let's go inside uh, the NDX first. So we have Mercado Libre up 3.7%. Uh, Facebook Meta up 3.3%. AstraZeneca up 2.9%. Taken away from it, uh, what is that? On, on semi. On semi down 3.7%. Clack is off 3. Uh, Lamb Research is off 3. And Intel's off 2.5. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point wise here, let's see what we got. It looks like Boeing's going to be the leader out here. Boeing's putting. 17 positive points. You get uh, Salesforce putting 17, Visa putting 11, taken away from it. United Health 40 minus 43, Goldman minus 44, Nike minus uh, what is that? Minus 16. Inside the financials, let's go take a look at J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan. Okay, huh? That has okay. So what J.P. Morgan did. Jumped over its highs last couple of days, and this is what you didn't want to see if you're in the financials. We know, you know, it was a half day and all this, but bottom line is even if I double up the volume, it's not a good sign. This has to get back over the uh, 143. Oh, actually, hold it. No, it's still over it. Yeah, it's teetering. 143.34, and it's over it. It's over it by a point, uh, just over a point. So it is teetering up there, but it's still over it. We go to take a look at Apple. Let's see what we're doing, dealing with Apple out here. Okay, so Apple's backing down with light volume. You know, bottom line is doing 34 million, and you're coming into 46. You know, what you what we will see is this: you're going to see a big acceleration on trading volume more than likely tomorrow. That's how this thing shakes out because the way that the, the fourth fell on, it was, you know, yesterday. So, you know, you have, you have people still coming back from vacation, including moi. <laughs> I literally just jumped out of the car. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.